Hi guys. It is a lovely day here in the collapse of global industrial civilization as we kick off the first Monday morning of the fall of 2021. Uh, good Lord, that would be Monday, September 27th, 2021. Man. Oh, where to even start? You know, I, I think we've covered that... Uh, I think enough people have covered that cargo ship pile up and going on off the coast of uh, California. And now I see in today's news, we're starting to have a similar situation form about four hours east of here in the New York and New Jersey ports. Uh, so now it's on both sides as these cargo ships start piling up and I was just at Home Depot and Lowe's a couple of days ago. What was I looking for? I was looking for exterior varnish. Good Lord, good luck. And uh, talking to the guys, you know, just the, just the regular Joes working at Lowe's and Home Depot and they were both saying uh, the same thing, the message, I mean, just talking to regular guys literally working places like Home Depot and Lowe's, and, and they're saying, dude, varnish today, no telling what tomorrow. The word out there is that once things start disappearing off the shelves, they ain't coming back. Uh, and more and more, uh, you, you, you can just expect to see more and more of this. This is the tip of the iceberg. Yep, varnish today, toilet paper tomorrow, uh, I guess bread and milk the next day. So, as we're looking forward to the winter of 2021 and this is just here, you know, in some average town in the U.S., you know, Ithaca, New York. You're just starting to see little bitty cracks, and this is what, you know, people always trying to second guess what, quote, collapse is going to look like, you know, for us. And you know, when I say us, you know who we're talking about. And we're not talking about Somalia. We're, we're not talking about Yemen, okay? Not talking about even India. We're talking about the United States and Europe. Uh, how, what it's gonna look like, how it's gonna start. And little by little, and this snowball is just going, it, it's going to start rolling. And who knows? I mean, it, it just, just what is going to, to set off Mad Max? I mean, we are, uh, tempers are at an edge here. And uh, good Lord, but we're going to go over to, uh, we're going to go over uh, to England. Uh, in today's chronicle of the collapse, my God, have you seen there? There's probably 500 YouTubes out there today. What it's looking looking like at the uh, gas stations, at the what they call the petrol stations, and what we call uh, a gas station over here. Good Lord, these people in an absolute freakout that. You know, the gasoline, the petrol is going to run out uh, over there in England. I mean, it just the the pictures, uh, obviously, of the, the, the lines stretching, uh, you know, down the street, uh, rationing, the fist fights. You should see some of these brawls going on at uh, fist fights, uh, you know, where people try to break in line. There's already reports coming out right now that uh, in some areas of England, that 90%, 90% of the fossil fuels uh, have sold out uh, over this weekend. 
90 percent. No wonder people are in, are in a panic. I'd be in that line too. I mean, the first thing, well, right after toilet paper, if, if, if people, and I'm not sure why exactly, I guess it's a truck driver shortage that people are on an absolute freak out. I mean, right now, while I'm, while I'm saying this, there are thousands, if not millions of people over there in England freaking out that their uh, gas sucking car is going to, uh, is going to run out of gas. Uh, or petrol, as they call it. So a bunch of, I, I just pretty much threw a dart, uh, but you can go over to YouTube and just go over there and search lines at petrol pumps in England. And uh, you can take, uh, here's the, I guess this is a live cam from Bloomberg uh, going on over there while I'm sitting here uh, as, as Mad Max is unfolding at every gas station in, in England today, uh, and, it, and how far off before it's the grocery stores. I don't know whether this picture, I'm just looking at, uh, this is just Yahoo News from the UK. Uh, I don't know if this picture they put here, my guess it was taken at the beginning of the corona panic. They very carefully word the caption to the, to the photo not to say that it's today with this woman walking past these empty store shelves. This was probably the toilet paper aisle in uh, March of 2020. But anyway, let's see what, how Yahoo News from the UK, and, there, and there's a hundred versions of this article uh, today. We're just going to go with this one. <clears throat> Britons urged, don't panic buy as fears mount of a winter of discontent. Yes, otherwise known as the Eve of Mad Max. The winter of discontent building up over there. All right. <clears throat> the Minister for Small Business has told the British public not to panic buy and insist that the UK is not facing a winter of discontent. Doesn't seem to, uh, I don't think people are believing this over there. <clears throat> Soaring natural gas prices have sent shockwaves through the energy industry as well as strained supply chains that were already creaking due to a shortage of labor and the fallout from Brexit. After natural gas prices triggered a CO2 shortage, ironically enough, Britain was forced to extend e emergency state support to avert a shortage of poultry and meat last week, which uh, I, I briefly mentioned. Um, speaking to Times Radio about soaring natural gas prices, truck driver shortages, and supply issues, Minister Paul Scully rejected the notion, rejected the notion of a return to a winter of discontent, a reference to 1978 and 79 when inflation and industrial action left the British economy in chaos. Quote, look, this isn't a 19, 1970s thing at all. No, brother, this is not a 1970s thing at all. This is a 2021 thing. Look, this isn't a 1970s thing at all. I don't recognize that. There is no need for people to go out and panic by close quote. Yep, yep, yep. Uh... And then right next to this story, right next to that quote 
they have another story from Yahoo News UK titled MP admits UK could be heading to winter of discontent. This feels very reminiscent. We'll go over there and look at this story, but we're going to uh, look at the, I guess we're going to start with the optimist here. Yeah, they, they really believe this. Supermarket bosses have already warned of a panic buying crisis in the run up to Christmas following empty shelves already appearing across the country due to truck driver shortages. Tesco, the UK's largest supermarket, said panic buying could be, quote, far worse than during the first corona panic lockdown. Uh, this is Tesco's distribution and fulfillment director, Andrew Wolfenden, Quote, our concern is that the pictures of empty shelves will get 10 times worse by Christmas and then we will get panic buying, close quote. Anybody uh, thinking for one minute uh, that it's going to be Christmas before uh, there is a full-scale panic going on in England and very well going on in Ithaca, New York uh, by Christmas. This is how quickly uh, this, uh, you know, this stuff hits. <clears throat> uh, he also called on the government to make it easier to hire workers from abroad. Yes, Tesco is currently struggling to recruit new truck drivers despite offering a $1,000 bonus to new hires. Andy the Gardener, maybe you should go uh, become a Tesco truck driver. I think we need Andy the Gardener uh, on the front lines being a Tesco truck driver. Uh, and send us a report, Andy. <clears throat> According to the Road Haulage Association, there is now a shortage of up to 100,000 truck drivers in the UK, which is feeding into missing food and drink items on shelves up and down the country. And of course, we have that same uh, truck driver shortage uh, forming here in the US as well. Uh, <clears throat> And in a double whammy, steep rises in natural gas prices forced the closure of the UK's two largest fertilizer plants, which produce carbon dioxide, further threatening meat, poultry, and fizzy drink supplies. Yes. Uh... So I guess they were five to 15 days out of a meat crisis when uh, in response to the escalating energy crisis, the British government has agreed to pay tens of millions of dollars to the US company CF Industries to reopen a carbon dioxide plant in the UK. Uh, what they're what they're talking about here it took me a while to figure out what what all of this why would a carbon dioxide shortage be affecting meat supplies apparently the way they slaughter animals somehow involves carbon dioxide i i don't know exactly uh so they weren't able to slaughter the animals uh that's what all that was about but that crisis has been at, diverted, at least for now. Uh, the rise in natural gas prices has already led to six ener energy suppliers going out of business just this month, leaving nearly one and a half million customers facing a rise in bills, you know, right at the onset of winter. What was it? Is gas prices have gone up as much as 70 percent. 
uh, in England over the last few weeks. Uh, despite all of this, Business Secretary Kwasi Kwarteng, I love that name, Kwasi Kwarteng has categorically ruled out grants or subsidies to large energy firms. Yes. <clears throat> On the natural gas and truck driver crisis, Boris Johnson told Sky News during his Washington trip this week that he was not concerned about supply chains. Okay, Boris, I'm going to have to... I've heard I need to read Boris Johnson's speech at the UN, but uh, what else was he saying? All right, how does Boris Johnson read this? Quote, I think we've got very good supply chains, as I've been saying over the last few days. What we're seeing is the growing pains of a global economy recovering rapidly from the corona panic. Uh, <laughs> we'll see. Uh, all right, I'm just going to go to a few more here uh, on this panic buying gas freakout has Europe saying, we told you so. How about UK panic buying as up to 90% of fuel pumps run dry? And that is, as I say, that's going on this very minute. Uh, here is fuel crisis live. So they're, the government is hoping that 5,000 visas, you know, to foreigners who, who don't even have driver's licenses in. So I guess there's, they're, they're short 100,000 uh, truck drivers. So the great solution is to hire 5,000 foreigners to uh, drive the trucks. I don't know what that means for the other 95,000 trucks. Yes, 5,000 visas to solve the truck driver crisis as panic buying causes traffic gridlock. Uh, UK is experiencing panic-driven gas shortages. Uh, UK gas... <clears throat> UK gas stations are running dry due to panic buying and a supply chain crisis. Boris Johnson may deploy the military to drive trucks. Okay, here's a new one. Bring out the, uh, whatever their version of the National Guard uh, to be delivering fuel uh, to uh, these gas pumps. Uh, here is Britain is doomed. Britain is doomed to a winter of discontent, warns Ukraine's gas king. Let's take a look at this one real quick. This is from the Telegraph. Ukraine's pipeline chief has a stark winter warning for Britain. The geopolitics of Europe's escalating natural gas war with Russia are intractable, and the coming supply crunch is likely to force brutal demand destruction in both industry and homes. Yep, 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 yep. Uh... Good Lord, guys, uh, we now get the geopolitics uh, mixed into all of this. Uh, okay, but, you know, this one was the one right next to the, who was it, the, uh, the energy minister saying, quote, there is no need for people to go out and panic buy and categorically rejects 
the notion of a return to winter of discontent, while right next to that we have MP admits UK could be heading to winter of discontent. Quote, this feels very reminiscent. A conservative MP, I don't know what MP stands for, but uh, I don't know. I, I, are they the version of State Department? Anyway, I, I, you, I always see this term MP. I'm not quite sure what department. I, anyway, a conservative MP has said he fears the UK is building towards a, quote, winter of discontent and soaring energy bills and fuel shortages. Uh, there were long queues for pumps across Britain as panic buying took hold amid a truck driver shortage, blah, blah, blah. Uh, this is David Morris. Uh, said the situation feels to him reminiscent of that of the 1970s when a series of economic crises culminated in a major disruption in 1978. Quote, well, I've got to say to you, I can remember the winter of discontent, and I remember what was building up to that, and this, to me, feels very Reminiscent. I am hoping that does not happen. Yes. Uh, independent uh, petrol brands have reported that 90% of their pumps are dry with lines trailing down busy roads and fights breaking out. Uh, emergency service workers have reported struggling to refuel their vehicles to provide vital life-saving care and the UK is also facing wider supply chain issues around food and drink availability already leaving some supermarket shelves Empty. Yep, yep, yep. And this goes on and on. Eh. England today, Ithaca, New York tomorrow. Uh, so I don't know, guys. I guess you ought to get out there and panic buy all the toilet paper you can while you still can because uh, I see no reason to... Uh, to question whether uh, it, 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 this, this shit's going to get a hell of a lot worse before it ever gets better. This is, you are witnessing a, uh, a spiral down collapse. Uh, anyway, so I guess this is the, who would be, is, is this the, uh, the, uh, that druid guy who, uh, we, John Michael Greer, I would, I need to check in with what John Michael Greer, I think he's originally from England, maybe, maybe we'll check in with John Michael Greer and see, uh, how he's reading the tea leaves and all this, but anyway, I'm going to wrap up today's, uh, Chronicle of the Collapse, because, uh, I need to get out there and, uh, do something in a panic while I still can. Are you going to do some Panic chipmunk chasing. Yes. Bye, guys.